Where's my handle? Works better. Safety screens on. I'm not really a uh, metal working guy. I feel always like a tart cutting steel. It's not exactly straight. But who cares? Not so nice and dangerous idea, but we'll do it anyway. Fuck. The bearing is just gripping underneath the wood, so I just screwed up this piece. I must say that was more wrong than all of this, so it's fucking dumb. Well you can see I use uh, round off bits quite often. Like never. Fuck! That's some dumb shit. Well, might as well do it all over again. So that was a 80 millimeter duct cut with a 4 millimeter one flute at 4 meters a minute. It can handle. Apparently. So, let's get this. I lost that. It's very inefficient program. It's not programmed, that's the reason. Well, it's not entirely clean cut. It's because I, uh, made it quite aggressive. Fucking hell, I thought I'd change that. I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. Ah, mm hmm. So here you can see some stripes. Apparently the wood is like pulled up a little bit since it's not screwed down. So I've created these lines. That's uh, just rookie mistake, but this is a program error. It's half a millimeter deeper than the rest. It's just stupid. I changed that, I'm pretty sure, but somehow it didn't do it. Now I want to uh, ch chamfer this actually, but I don't think I have a bit that has the bearing far enough. So mistakes are easily made, especially when you think you loaded the new program and actually you didn't. So I redid it and then I noticed this and I was like, hey, what? I changed that as well as this cutting of corners. I changed that. And I did, but uh, the file is still uh, sitting on a uh, USB uh, stick sitting in my computer. Not in my CNC computer, that is. So it's fun I changed it, but. I used the old program again. Really. Uh, I tried to chamfer this. Well, I didn't try. I, I tried it with the old one. And my chamfer bit. Is it chamfer? I don't know. What's it called? Round off bit. But it's. Uh, it's. Poor. Well, it's too big. 
You can see here it kind of made a weird whoop whoop de doo here as well. It's like weird. And that's because um, it's on constant velocity, so it tries to maintain a speed and it if you want like tiny details that that's not a good thing. So I changed that as well, but yes, because I didn't use the new program. It looks exactly the same. But the idea is this. So this should be sitting here. So the metal is of course not straight. You should be able to In the final result, of course, I would use some glue or something. So it's not sitting completely towards this piece of wood. I'm not sure how to fix that. I think by next time, use glue. It becomes a really sturdy frame as well. I could like add some cyan acrylate and just hold it like this and I should be able to get it out again as well by heating it up for instance. I might actually do that. Cyan acrylate to the rescue. Cyan acrylate. Poop. Also on this side. Maybe at a few spots. It doesn't harden. That might be because it's not reaching the glue properly. So this one I'm gonna pull off the harden the rather slow. Is that right? So this part I'm gonna do differently. Hmm. So that becomes uh, really stiff. No wonder. Hopefully I get those out. I mean, this is not of course the design. I just wanted to make proof of concept if I can uh, put the ribbon, the whole thing inside a piece of wood to be able to use them in my planar magnetics. Uh, I made it just long enough that it will fit the CNC. If I want to make a bigger one, that's possible, but I have to do it in two uh, runs. And I have to be sure it is the way I want it to, because otherwise I just waste more material. So if I got a magnet, got a magnet here, on the off cuts. So this should be able to fit in here without too much hassle and without glue. I can see already that there is a tiny ridge. Um, either the metal is a little bit thicker or the magnets are a little bit thicker. So these should be should be possible to just load them up. That would be fucking nice. And that fits. I could even make this a little bit more snugger. And I will. I'm more of a uh, cut, cut four times, measure once. Apparently.
Now I could just add a uh, something in, in between here to make this sit tight or adjust my measurements of course. I left a little bit of space just because I don't trust this cut magnets that they're all exactly the same. They might change a little bit. So there's some room here so I could like add a wedge. For instance this. Something, just a piece of wood or metal or There you have it. Quite hefty. I see I didn't drill the holes I plan to drill. So that's good. But this works surprisingly well. Now the thing is, it won't be sticking out like this. I thought about maybe making a two part frame. So. If this is part of the frame, I attach all this kind of stuff. I also drill on the CNC some spots uh, so I can put inserts in there and just make an exact same thing but a piece of wood but then of course a uh, light mirror and it will attach from the back. So it should be uh, like maybe That could be the same one. This works great. It's much more fun loading it this way than uh, with the other, the old design. So now let's make a ribbon. I shoot for 17 millimeter, but I think it's gonna be a little bit smaller. This is 16.6. .6. Yeah, I'm probably here. It is 17. So it is like pulling the wood a little bit towards each other. 16.6. 16.7 and on the end it's again almost 17. 16.99. So that's probably this small piece here that is, yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. So this piece of wood is too small, so I've learned Again, something. I can do this, but then I have to leave a slither of wood here, which is a good idea anyway, because uh, the ribbon itself needs supports as well. So, and it makes this much sturdier. So I cannot just like bend it as I can right now, which is definitely not a good thing. So I might make something to put in between. This is why I make several. I could make this full-blown thing and then discover something stupid like this. And then you have to start all over again. Which is shit. But I need to put something in between here because otherwise it will, it will keep pulling on it. And if I do this several times, I guess the gap, whoop, the gap will be smaller. 16.5. So that's 0.1 millimeter less than the last time I measured it. So I need something in between here. But not for now. So the idea is... Here is gonna be the connection, or at least the, the ribbon is gonna be, for now temporarily, be double-sided taped here. Then I thought this would be nice to make some sort of connections or put the the uh, amount of ribbon I left left over or something. I don't know. It's, it's a bit small. Should be bigger. Then uh, I use uh, the aluminum tape like this, going backwards down to the start of the ribbon. Yeah, it's cool to make some sort of sandwich thing, I think. I mean, this is cheap wood, but I do, still. I mean, if you've got better quality. 
I still like this over a sock. And if you wished you could add like fabric before you put the magnets on. That's something I pretty much want to do with the base panel or mid-range or whatever is going to be joining this one. So it has this wood finish, but better of course. And then has uh, this will be rounded off and has like fabric in front of it. Damn, this thing is heavy. Shall we take a look how heavy that is? I'm not sure if my skill will handle it. I think so. It's not that heavy. Tar. Yeah, around 2.8 kilograms. So a complete ribbon, if I would use a big one, would be around 5 kilos or something similar. Love it when it fits all nicely. Still make mistakes as I usually do, but at least so far. <laughs> 